Greetings everyone, my name is Murtaza Haider and I am a professor at the Ted Rogers School of Management at Ryerson University in Toronto. Today I am presenting this brief video to demonstrate uh, IBM SPSS use for econometrics but for a particular problem where we are working with a data set where the observations are not independent, that is we have repeated observations from uh, respondents and also the observations are weighted because of another variable. And I will illustrate how to take care of the repeated observations and weighted observations simultaneously in one model using IBM SPSS. So let's look at the challenge. We have data set where we have multiple observations for each or most respondents. So observations are not necessarily independent where respondents who are giving us maybe three, four or five observations, there will be similarities between those observations being collected from the same respondent and hence we have to account for it. Also, um, you can have observations where um, based on sampling or based on some other criterion, observations have to be treated differently and they have to be weighted to account for the fact that each observation carries a different weight um, and, and a different influence on your results. So uh, what happens is that if you weight the data by certain variables, this will impact the estimated coefficients. And if you account for the uh, panel-like structure of the data set, that will impact standard errors. And the question to ask is, can these be handled in SPSS? And the answer is absolutely yes. Now, with SPSS, uh, one of the things that I've noticed is that this software is, is laden with hidden gems. There are so many things that are not necessarily part of the books that you see on SPSS or the texts that are available, nor is the um, commonly available videos talk about it. So it has some amazing capabilities that are often hidden, and one of those is the complex samples functionality in SPSS, and which I will use for this particular um, example. Here's the example problem. The question we ask is, do good-looking professors, uh, do they receive higher teaching evaluations uh, from students in their um, course evaluations? The dependent variable in this particular case is average teaching evaluation score received in a class. And the data has sort of a panel structure, not necessarily a time series panel, but because the same instructor or many instructors have taught more than one course, so we have received more than one observation per instructor, so that has to be accounted for. So the identifier for the professor is the professor's unique ID. And the number of all students completing the evaluation serve as a weight to assign higher weight to evaluations in large classes. And, and, and this is to show that if, if a professor gets higher or lower teaching evaluations and there are 400 students in that course, that course should be treated separately from us, another course in which there were, let's say, only 10 course students uh, completing the teaching evaluation. The explanatory variables we will use is um, our gender, um, English language proficiency, uh, professor's tenure status, whether the course is an upper division course, a course credit, um, a normalized beauty score, which is um, the score normalized to zero, and the minority status of the instructor. The data set uh, looks like this um, in SPSS. Um, I should mention that the data set is uh, provided by Professor Daniel Hammermesh at the University of Texas in Austin, from where the data was collected for about 460 plus courses, 93 odd professors um, were part of the, uh, the sample. So the beauty score is a normalized beauty score, which is the key uh, experimental variable. And the dependent variable is the teaching evaluation score, which is eval here. Next, um, I will show you the, how to do this. So you click on Analyze, click on Complex Samples, then click on Prepare for Analysis. This will bring you to another dialog box, and in that dialog box, you can create a plan file, uh, mention new underscore design or whatever name you prefer, and browse to make sure that um, you can locate the location of this file later. So give it a name, and then once you've given it a name, then under clusters, because you want to have the clustered standard errors, um, you cluster the standard errors to the professor's um, uh, ID, and you want the weight observations to be weighted, so you put sample weight as students. And once you have done that, the last step is to select uh, the um, sampling with replacement. It's already selected by default, so you don't have to do anything. And then that's the, the preparation side of it. So you click um, OK, and that will create the file. Once you have specified the uh, file, then you go click on uh, Analyze Complex Samples again. 
then click on general linear, linear model this is after we have prepared for analysis we now click on general linear model so once we click on it then um, we re-specify or we mention the name of the file that we just created in the um, preparation stage and then click on continue we move forward and this is our target we would like to reproduce from professor daniel hammermish's paper um, the weighted least square estimate in which he has the dependent variable which is the teaching evaluation score and all these explanatory variables are there i ran this um, code um, essentially you, it's a click and uh, point and click environment but if you want to see the code this is the code um, where this is the complex samples general, general linear model uh, command i define the plan file um, specify the model with all the fixed effects and and covariates and and just click on it and then the output is generated and here's the result you can see the result is very clear that um, the teaching evaluation score is is dependent upon all these variables where the beauty score is uh, for one unit increase in beauty score teaching evaluation score goes up by 0.275 with a standard error of 0.058 and you can see that this is very closely matching what you see here and here so there you go so let's begin with um, an illustration in SPSS. I will click on Analyze and then Complex Samples at the bottom and then click on Prepare for Analysis. And I will create, um, select Browse and um, I will say the new file that I would like to create is new underscore design. And this will keep the design or save the design that I would like to create. I click on Next. I want the standard errors to be clustered by professors. So I click Clusters and then select Professors underneath. Uh, the option for clusters and I would like the observations to be weighted by the variable number of students completing the teaching evaluations I click there click on next it looks everything is by default so we select the default options click next next nothing to do and then say finish and now my sampling file has been saved I click on analyze and then again complex samples select complex samples but this time click on general linear model and browse to select the file so new underscore design file that we just created is there and that's all we need to do we say continue and now we under continue we will then click on uh, the dependent variable which is teaching evaluation score select the dependent variable and then the variable which is covariate which is a continuous variable is the normalized beauty score and then we select the visible minority status and female um, in status single credit status um, into the factors category we also select tenure uh, status of the professor and lastly if the course is lower division course or if the professor is non-native speaker of english language um, we got the factor selected dependent variable selected covariate selected we click on model um, it's a main effects model nothing to change here I click on statistics we want to make sure that the, the uh, estimates and standard errors are produced uh, model fit is produced so that's good um, and um, I wouldn't change much here I will keep the default options and then say OK and as I click on OK and scroll down and um, I would see the output is there um, the uh, output right here you can compare now let's take this output from here and compare it with the teaching evaluation um, paper that professor daniel hammermesh wrote so let's do the comparison so if you again look at the side by side presentation we see that we have replicated the results and we are able to produce exactly the same output that professor daniel hammermesh had in his paper uh, looking at the impact of teaching evaluations and looking at the impact of beauty on teaching evaluations and this is our um, uh, my attempt to explain how you can use IBM SPSS for certain advanced econometric techniques that are usually the purview of the special purpose econometric software but IBM as I said has several hidden gems which you can deploy and uh, complex samples and general linear model or other types of models under a complex sampling frame or sampling structure um, are possible in SPSS.